Hi there, friends at SingularityNet. This is about the Supervisory Council, and you may have seen the video that we had a, about a week ago talking about the Supervisory Council, and, and I've been thinking about it a lot, and I really believe that the experience, my experience, my, uh, my actions in the past, my behaviors, uh, what you can see by looking into the history of my relationship with SingularityNet, I have been an ambassador for decentralization. In fact, even for uh, SingularityNet, uh, back in 2018, I think it was, or 17. Um, and really what we're seeing now is that <laughs> the world needs benevolent AI. I know uh, in Singularity Net's calling it beneficial AI. I'm going to the old school. We need the benevolent AI. We need to be different from all the rest. Because as I, as I read about the ethics of what's happening and the calls for, for slowing down AI, I mean, there's a lot of concern to pause AI at G, chat GPT-4, for example, you know, to pause it, why? Because people are afraid of the future. You know, they're afraid of, of, uh, of it going in the wrong direction, which it is going in the wrong direction at this point, right? It's, it's the search, identify, destroy model. It's the drone model. It's the uh, marketing model, the search, identify, and take your money model, right? So my candidacy for this... Uh, for the Sense Supervisory Council, of course, it's primarily about setting the blueprint for Singularity Net and all associated organizations and sponsored entities. That's the blueprint for how we move forward. And you may or may not agree with my position, but I think it's important to have these perspectives. We can move the AI needle toward benevolence. We can move it toward a human-friendly uh, relationship between AI and ourselves, but only if we take what we're proposing in, in the project that I'm putting forward, the Conscience LARP, the live action role-playing game, if we get our citizens, our users of SingularityNet, for example, to begin to operate in a... Um, asking the, the uh, AI, the generative, generative AI at this point, of course, it's not AGI yet, um, we, we don't think. Um, but, you know, this, this is a very, very important window of opportunity that we have right now. And that is to, we guide the AGI, the ultimately the AGI, we guide it, we ask, we prompt, we SDG prompt, we, you know, chat SDG, the SDGs are the Sustainable Development Goals, you can see them behind me here. And we've been working on this, I've been working on this uh, ever since uh, 2015. I've been working, and before that, even before the SDGs, I've been working on the, the decentralization. You know, you talk about the knowledge, the third layer, right? <laughs> We've been talking about the third layer, society, environment, economy, and balance, individual social responsibility. We've been doing the three for years, for many years. And that has always been a part of my belief system is that we can make it work. It, it, the, the, the benevolent AI is a brilliant approach. It's, it's, it's not actually on the face of it that different from what's happening right now, but there is a very significant ethical and attitudinal difference. And how do we accomplish that? I believe we, I, my hope is to influence the blueprint toward benevolence. And also very importantly, not just toward the, the crypto bros, you know, it's toward the people who are the general people of the world. They don't understand what's happening with AI right now. All they hear is the Terminator stuff or, or some utopian, you know, the, nobody's going to work, everybody's going to be provided with, with universal basic income and, and, and perfect lives. You know, neither of those is completely true. 
but we're heading in that direction where we're just giving it all up to a uh, to 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 the centralized powers so oh we've got our friend the cat <laughs> in the back okay so that's it that's my candidacy i have experience i have a long time experience i have demonstrated my concern for uh, benevolent ai i have uh, done the work i've been up everest with the sdgs and uh, i've been at universities around the world uh, speaking about how we solve the global goals which we call now the global goals right S individually in each community every community looking after its own resilience after looking after its own thing so can we distribute this this ai that's what singularity net is supposed to be about we it's decentralized it means that we have to contribute and we have to also train the ai we've got to do it now so that's it that's my conversation uh, there is much more to speak about of course but i'll limit this uh, so that it doesn't go too long. But look in the description of my, my background and what I'm interested in and really believe that I am totally committed to this. I've spent uh, <laughs> most of my waking hours for the last 15 years on this project. So thank you very much and I hope you uh, agree that we have to make a blueprint that really is benevolent to society, it's human friendly, it uses AI to solve the problems which we apparently don't seem to be able to solve. Remember what's coming up in, uh, in a few months or a month and a half is COP28, the 28th version of how do we solve these environmental and, and climactic uh, changes? How do we solve them? Well, I have a plan for that. I can share it with you and, uh, and I think that the plan is doable. So thank you, and I look forward to joining the team.